Hey guys, how's it going? It's Alice. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody's having an absolutely amazing New Year's. I'm ready. I'm ready for 2019. I've got my resolution here on my shirt. I need to be more lazy, you guys. In 2019, I mean, I've been working too hard. I've been getting way too many accomplishments done. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm just kidding. I kind of don't really believe in the whole like like New Year's and resolutions and stuff like that. It's really not like, it's not my thing. It's not for me, dog. But uh, I wanted to do a kind of like my favorite makeup, my holy grails for 2018. I haven't done favorites videos in a really long time just because I kind of, they're kind of boring for me. Um, you know, sometimes I just feel like I don't try a product for long enough to be like, oh, this is my favorite. Or, oh, I hate this, you know? So, I don't know. I'll, if you guys like them, I will start incorporating more ow, uh, favorites videos or like current obsessions, current holy grails, but it's not gonna be like a monthly thing because that's just too often. But yeah, I wanted to just do a rundown, rundown, rundown of a bunch of products that I just have been really enjoying in 2018. So without further ado, I don't have any of this planned out. I'm gonna be rambling and looking around my makeup area. I've gotten a few comments like, oh, do like a room tour, do like a beauty area like video and you guys do not wanna see how much of a slob I am. You really don't. But I'm gonna show you a little bit right now. So, look at this freaking shit, you guys. Look at my palettes. Oh yeah, and uh, brushes, I'm, I'm not gonna include like holy grail favorite brushes because I have brushes in my shop Kadabra and I'm not going to include that because it's a little redundant. They're obviously my favorites and I use them all the time. So moving on. So I feel like there are four eyeshadow palettes that I think I really liked this year. This is, I've had this one for the longest amount of time. This is the chocolate orange palette from Makeup Revolution and absolutely freaking like I haven't even used all these, are you, I can't even form a sentence, like, <laughs> it's beautiful, it's adorable, it has a humongous freaking mirror in it, and I'm pretty sure this costs like $13 or less, I'm, they have a bunch of different uh, little chocolate bar palettes that are basically a direct knockoff of Too Faced chocolate bar palettes, uh, I haven't tried any of the other ones that they make, but if they are as good quality as this bad boy, I really don't need more eyeshadow palettes, but yeah. Also in this a similar kind of realm, this is the Sienna's palette by Profusion. I get a lot of Profusion PR and I try a lot of their stuff. Across the board, I'm pretty happy with all their eyeshadow palettes. I've never really had a bad situation, but this palette is just, it's freaking beautiful. If you want a perfect go-to easy, like no brainer eyeshadow palette that you can just grab and you happen to like the orangey tones and the reds and browns. I mean, this is just, it's drugstore too. This is from Target. I think it's like 10 bucks. I think you'll probably see a little bit of a theme. All my favorite eyeshadow palettes happen to have square pans. I much prefer square pans. Don't know why, but I think that impacts the way I view an eyeshadow palette. The Blood Sugar Palette from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I reached this for this one a uh, lot if i need a pigmented red or pink eyeshadow i know exactly what i'm gonna reach for it's this palette it also has purples it has some browns neutrals golds i mean the white in here is one of the most pigment it is the most pigmented white eyeshadow i have ever used so whether i need like a red or a nude or a white like you can just grab grab this palette and you're good to go great quality next item i'm a little surprised that it's here in my holy grails but the anastasia beverly hills sultry eyeshadow palette i i know i got this kind of recently and i haven't even used every shade in here you guys some of these are like virgin shades but it's it's a great it's a great palette great quality i use the black like first thing i think of when i need a black eyeshadow i'm like i'm gonna grab sultry it's a good palette and I'm a little worried because next time Anastasia comes out with a palette, you guys, I'm not gonna need it, but I'm probably going to buy it because great quality, 
great quality, you know? And I have so many palettes. You saw that it's like when I'm filming or when I'm doing my makeup, I don't wanna fuck around with shitty eyeshadows, you know? If I, if I have the good stuff, I'm gonna reach for the good stuff. And so that's really how I can tell what is missing the mark and what's worth it, you know what I mean? So next on my little makeup drawer thingy is the mascaras, the liners, the brow stuff. For the longest time, I really liked the Colossal Volume Express mascara. It did the job for me and it's cheap. But it transfers, you guys. Drugs, I think drugstore mascara transfers down on my face. Maybe it's just because it's not summer anymore and like my face isn't as warm and like sweaty or something. But I've been using the Benefit Bad Gal Bang that I got in PR as a sample. I never really thought like expensive mascara was worth it. But I really like this stuff because it's it doesn't transfer onto my my under eyes and every other mascara that I've tried does. So this has become the holy grail. My absolute favorite black eyeliner pencil for the waterline is this one by Visanti Cosmetics. It's the Kajal Waterline Eyeliner Pencil in Intense Black. I've used a lot of these, and this one's my favorite. It's like 20 bucks, it's expensive, but it works really well. If you want a drugstore option, for drugstore, I would say that the Rimmel, uh, the one by Rimmel, I forget what it's called and I can't find it in there, so. Eyeliners. Eyeliners for doing a badass wing, much like the one that I have right now. I've got two favorite eyeliners and they are both pen, in pen form. This one here is by Mellow Cosmetics and this is PR. You guys, some, some of the stuff that I get, I mean, it's just, it's better than, some of the stuff that I get in PR is better than the stuff that I buy. So I'm gonna say so. It's not because I received it in PR. It's not because I got it for free. It's because it's better than the shit that I bought. Just saying. So this is Mellow Cosmetics Eyeliner Pen. Absolutely freaking love this stuff. I used it like hardcore for a few weeks when I first got it and then I accidentally left it open and it kind of dried out, but I really, really love it. It makes applying eyeliner so easy and it's black, like matte black. It's beautiful. My second favorite one is this Iris Beauty. I mean, they're both like equal in my eyes. Iris Beauty eyeliner pen. I used it earlier today. It glides so effortlessly, so easy. It's not chunky. It doesn't, it doesn't snag. It's like thin, just easy to work with. It's amazing, it's beautiful, it's stunning. Iris Beauty. Uh, for eyebrow stuff, don't really have like a lot of faves and fails when it comes to eyebrows. I basically have got two that I kind of bought back and back and forth. It's the Kat Von D Super Brow in Graphite, which is nice, dark black, beautiful, stunning. It's so moist, so easy to work with. Pigmented, like a little bit goes a long way. It's one of my absolute favorite brow products I've ever used. I also like Anastasia Dip Brow, you know, a classic. This one's pretty old. I won't usually use this except for maybe like creating a little bit of an ombre up front, but it's beautiful lasts a long time, doesn't smudge off, and gets the job done. An honorable mention for brows is the ColourPop Gel Pot Liner in Swerve. This is a black gel liner and dries out really quickly. So I always have to moisten it up with Duraline, which that really should be a holy grail item for me. This is a uh, Inglot Duraline, it's like a little liquid. And it moistens up any dip, you know, gel pot stuff and works really well. So I did a few foundation review wear test type things in 2018 and kind of figured out some foundations that I really like. It's between three in there for different like different purposes. So Dermacol, this stuff is so freaking pigmented and easy to work with and just like if you if you have a zit that needs covering up, just slap this on it and you're good to go. This stuff is pretty moist, like oily. If you have oily skin, do not wear this. If you are dry, this is gonna be good for you. And I especially like mixing this with other 
foundations that are a little too dry for me or too light coverage. Specifically, the ones that I like mixing it with are these two right here. We've got the Milk Blur Foundation and then the CYO Life Proof Foundation. I mix these two together also. The Milk one is really, really light on me. I especially like it with mixing because it's very like pigmented and it's kind of dry. So it's perfect to mix with a waterier, less pigmented foundation. And then the CYO Life Proof Foundation has probably been like one of my absolute favorites this year. It's so beautiful. It's a great color. It's a little dark on me. If I had to choose between like wearing one of these all by themselves and wearing this one all by itself, I would definitely choose this one hands down. This one's great. It doesn't technically need to be mixed with anything else, except I do like mixing it with the Milk one together. They're just so good. Another honorable honorable mention if you can't even afford drugstore foundation and you want something decent, the AOA Studio Perfect BB Cream. Uh, this I like mixing this stuff with the Dermacol as well or any foundation that's just too heavy, too thick, too light for you, like just too much. Um, this is one dollar. This is this is like basically drugstore quality, so it's actually decent. Concealer, Tarte Shape Tape, Holy Grail of 2018, best concealer that I've ever used. Honorable mention is the Milk Makeup Flex Concealer. It's a little dry. Honorable mention, but Shape Tape it, it wins. I have two of them. Like it's the best. Contour. This is my one of my absolute favorite products of all time. You've, I use it literally every time I do my makeup. I usually edit it out or speed through it because it gets a little repetitive. But this is the Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer in the shade Blaze. So perfect. It sounds, it's a bronzer, bronzer for contour, what bitch? Yeah, it's perfect. It's like a perfect pale girl's contour. It's the best, I freaking love it. It's so easy to just It's not too pigmented, it's just great for setting down the base of your contour before you go in and do powder contour, which is what I will touch on right now. So the Holy Grail is gonna be the Lunatic Cosmetics Labs Contour Book Volume 1, which I you can I, I've had for a decent while. It's probably been a holy grail for like the past two years. So this is absolutely perfect for Halloween looks. I used it all throughout Halloween. It's also great for everyday looks. I do my base contour with the matte bronzer stick and then I actually go into these. It, look, it looks crazy to go into those like for a regular everyday look but on top of the kind of warm brown contour stick it balances out so I really like it. And then you've got a row of blushes here, which they don't get a lot of use to be honest, but these four are my holy grails right here. For a drugstore option, I really like Profusion's contour products. They come out with a lot of launches, a lot of different releases, but they repeat some of the same colors. So across the board, I really like their powder contours. They've usually in a lot of palettes, they'll have like a light one and then a dark one. They nailed the powder contour. Loose powder, translucent loose powder. This is RCMA No Color Powder. It's it's really good. I also have been using this Christopher Buckle that I got in PR, which I think is like a luxury brand. I think it's a little bit more expensive. I feel like they're like really, really, really similar. So, but loose powder is great for dusting all over your face, setting your foundation, of course. It doesn't add any color. So it's not going to darken your foundation or give you like, a, you know, if you get sometimes translucent powders can have a little bit of pink or yellow to it, which is kind of annoying because it's like that changes the look of my face. So the no color is great. I also really like this for if you make a, a mistake, a makeup mishap, if you put on too much blush, pat it on top, too much highlighter, too much texture showing through, just pat it on top of that and it immediately just like dulls it down and I also really like it for if my eyeshadow gets a little crazy around the edges, you can dip a clean brush into the loose powder and blend out any eyeshadow edges and it'll make it look a little bit more blended. My favorite blush is this really, really cheap palette that I got from, I think it was Zaffle. Did a sponsored video with Zaffle 
actually they never paid me <laughs> so it technically wasn't sponsored but I still filmed it and edited it so it's like I just I put it up anyway so this blush palette is it's really cheap it's, uh, you know some generic brand but this is like my favorite blush palette of all time and I found one really similar on Amazon so that I can link it for you guys because the one on Zaffle is no longer there and honestly they don't deserve any business from me yeah this is my favorite blush palette it's pigmented it's it's perfect it's got every color that you need and some of them have little glitter in it I just love it so much and I've been using you know I get blush and PR you guys it's it's no secret and that's still that's like what I reach for still oh okay I have two more I can't not mention my two other favorite blushes so that palette over there is very pink as you could tell and then these two are my second favorite blushes that I reach for every freaking time I do my makeup like almost oh sorry <laughs> that's probably really loud um you're probably sick of seeing these but you shouldn't be because they're really affordable they're beautiful and they're cheap yeah I already said affordable so this is the Wet n Wild color icon blushes in mellow wine and apricot in the middle Whenever I'm just like, gosh, what blush do I want to wear? I don't really know what to do. I One of these always ends up looking really good. Like if the pinky ones just aren't working for me, like either of these would have looked great with this look. You really can't, you can't beat them. The highlighter drawer that I can't even get fully back to, but you know what? If something's back there, it's probably not my favorite because it's all the way back there. Should we start out with cheap or expensive? Cheap, cheapest. Got two $1 highlighters here. This one is by LA Colors. It's the Cheek and Lips Tinted. And this is like a stick that you just slather on your face. I personally like to do this before my foundation, con you know, concealer, anything like that. It's so, is so blinding beautiful and bright and it will shine through your foundation like even if I use pretty full coverage stuff which kind of defeats the purpose if you're gonna do super full coverage but you can see it a little bit and I absolutely love that second one is a loose pigment by wet n wild you know I'm gonna talk about both of these together because I'm pretty sure that they're both discontinued because they're like holiday items but we've got wet n wild color icon loose pigment in you're my boo and then moon tears from the gothographic collection if you ever see loose highlighters loose pigments by wet n wild that look like this these colors then you need to stop drop and grab them this is probably the most beautiful universal color that anybody could ever wear as a highlighter and it's been discontinued i don't understand but it's stunning Thank God I have like a lifetime supply of it. This one here, hopefully there's like a dupe for it in their line. But it's just a white loose pigment and I absolutely love a blinding white highlight. Should I put it on right now? I already have a lot on it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I absolutely love using loose highlighters. So I guess sometimes I do like a three-step highlighting process. I'll start out with the stick. Do my foundation blush all of that and then i go in with a loose highlighter on a big brush and slather that all over the high points of my face and then i like to go in with a pressed highlighter so for pressed probably say that these are my three holy grails we have maybelline master chrome face studio and molten rose gold which is if you like pink highlighters like metallic pink this is what you want they need to come out with a white version. Jeffree Star Ice Cold Skin Frost is like a white gold. Blinding, beautiful. And then this one I just recently got. And I actually have been really, really liking it. It is what is on my face right now. I think I actually put all three of these on my face. But there's a bright white, a pinkish, and then like a bluish. Okay, so lip products. So this is my lip drawer. If you ever hear that sound when I'm filming, it's because I'm 
digging around looking for what to use. Um, you're probably all guessing what I'm gonna say. Atomic Makeup makes my absolute holy grail lip products out there to date, and they're the reigning champ. Like I've tried a lot, and I've they've been my favorite for a long time. So they make the most perfect nudes that you could ever imagine in so many different undertones. Like, when I'm down to the wire and I need to do, <laughs> this sounds so crazy. Like, when you're, when you're getting ready and you're like, oh, okay, I want a nude, and you've already got like your eyeshadow and your blush and a color story going on for you, and you know, you can't just, like these are three very different colors to me. You know, you know what I'm saying? That's one of the things that I absolutely love about Atomic Makeup is they have a, whatever color I'm looking for. They've got beautiful, unique colors too. These are a little dirty, sorry about that. They make a black liquid lipstick now called X-Ray. These are some of my favorite nudes, like dark grayish nudes. This is Essex and this is Lorimer. And then I forgot to tell you what these are. Uh, we've got Concrete, Jungle, Hurtin', and Wild Honey. When I'm filming, I want something pigmented, true to color when I'm looking at it in the package, and something that isn't going to look patchy or streaky, because I'm not about to bullshit and be wearing a patchy, streaky, ugly mess and be like, yeah, here's my look, it's really great. Like, I need, I want the pigment, like, I need the pigment, <laughs> you know? I, I want a lip product that isn't gonna let me down. <laughs> Oh my god, you guys, there's holes in this shirt. And I'm not wearing a bra, so. You can only imagine what's going on down here below the camera. Anyway, um, I'm wearing Whiskey Brown right now. Um, so when I'm filming, they're my go-to. They're pigmented, they're easy to work with, easy to apply, and they get the job done. When I'm gonna go out, like if I'm gonna just do errands, or I'm gonna go be eating, or drinking, or talking, or partying, or whatever, they, they get the job done in the sense that they're comfortable, they're long wearing, and it's not gonna look like crap in a few hours. It's not gonna feel like crap. Hands down, absolute holy grail, 100%. I have a code with them, and I feel like they genuinely do make my absolute favorite liquid lipsticks. And um, I'm lucky enough to be an affiliate with them, which hopefully you guys don't get it twisted and think that I'm just recommending them because I have an affiliate code. I'll tell you how it is, you know? If I like something better than Atomic, I will tell you. But so far, there is nothing better than their liquid lipsticks that I've tried, so. Another thing that I've recently been getting into is kind of like a cream lipstick. These are satin. These are the Rimmel Stay Satin. I, this is more of like an honorable mention. These colors aren't my favorite. I need to go get other colors, but I really like the formula of these. It is a, it's like a cream, like a melted cream lipstick, and it almost kind of dries to like a matte appearance, but it doesn't feel matte and it doesn't feel too dry, but they last a really long time. It's like some kind of witchcraft, but I really like these. Oh, I forgot to mention, these are also very pigmented in their drugstore. They're from Rimmel. Really like those, honorable mention for sure. For glosses, Atomic Makeup does make nice glosses, um, but they're, they're thin, they're nice. I'm pigmented but thin and when I wear lip gloss I kind of want more of like a treatment feeling I like a really thick lip gloss because usually I'm just wearing it all by itself so I've been really liking the patchology lip service um, what is it? gloss to go wait what gloss to balm treatment okay really like this stuff it's minty I pop it on and I just leave it on my lips while I'm doing like you know my face and my eyes and all that stuff and it's it's like thick and it's hydrating and it just feels really nice. And then my second favorite gloss as of late is this Pacifica Crystal Punk Holographic Mineral Lip Gloss. It's really thick and I like a thick gloss. Other than that, you guys, my holy grail of all time that is the reigning champ and nobody will ever be able to replace it is just plain chapstick, chapstick brand, the cherry one. Fox strawberry, or the, like the sugar cookie one is good, cinnamon roll or whatever. Nothing as good as just the regular like $2 chapstick brand that you get from Walmart. Um, 
so I think tools, I'm gonna mention tools. This is a brush cleaner thingy. It's like a little sponge inside a tin. And I use this multiple times when I'm doing my makeup when I just wanna get the pigment off of a brush and reuse it because I can't stand washing my brushes and I'm so lazy and I'm a piece of shit human being. Anyway, you can get this really cheap on Amazon. Uh, other tools that are really, really handy. Gosh, these are so dirty. So I'm gonna like, I'm gonna hold them back here, but this, it's like a tweezers for crafts or for nail art or something, but it's really nice for putting on eyelashes and then like squishing them together. This needs to be cleaned. But yeah, I think that is it. I think those are my beauty faves. I think that those are my makeup faves. I feel like I'm probably forgetting something, but everything else is like skincare. So maybe I'll do a separate faves for skincare and stuff like that. Uh, and then probably like a least favorite, if you guys want to see that. Um, but yeah, hopefully this was helpful for you guys. Uh, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.